Hello people, my name is Ferdy and with the new version of Elementor Pro, Elementor Pro 3.6, it is able to increase revenue. No, I wanted to say to add page transitions to your website. So let me show you in this tutorial how you can implement that. So over here I have a page made with Elementor Pro using version 3.6 and if I go to a different page, I just go to a different page, that's it. Services page, any page. No transition. But if I edit the page with Elementor Pro and I go to those three lines over here, site settings, I can go to the page transitions. Well, there are two types. You can have, you can have a page transition that will be the background that can do a few things and there's the preloader. So let's start with the background. I can have a certain background with a certain color. This one for instance. If I update it and I take a look, if I go to a different page, for a short moment, you see black area. So let's configure it a little bit further. We can have an entrance animation, so I can say let it fade in. And after that, let it fade out. And then I can decide the speed, so I can have a really slow one, almost two seconds, and then you'll see the black color fading in and fading out when I go to a different page. So I go to the home page, becomes black and becomes light. I go to the about page. Voila, there's the about page. Okay, this is a little bit slow. So let's make it a half, half a second. And you can also click on the same link. Then you can also see the result. So there's the home page. I go to the services page. It looks like that. But you can do more. Let me change the color to this one. And let me bring it from the right. Let me sl let it slide out to the left. Now, when I go to a different page, It appears like that. That's quite fast. I can increase it. I can also change this into a gradient background. So let me say the first color is the primary one. The second one, the accent color. Somehow I see different colors over here, but it doesn't matter. I know the right colors will appear on the home page. I can adjust it, change the location, have a fade or one line. It can be linear, it can be radial. Let me update it. Okay, so I go to a different page and then disappears. So let's leave it with that for a moment. Then I go to the preloader and there are a few things we can do. I can have an animation like that. You saw it for a really short moment. So the background slides in, then it starts. We can change the animation speed, make it go faster. We can change it to other things. We can make it bigger. Something like this, update. So I go to the home page and it appears like that. Okay, let me go back to the page transitions. I want it to be dark. I can make it black. Also have a little bit of transparency. And then over here, I can make it, let it be fade in and fade out. Then I go to preloader. I can change the color. I can change the animation. But what I also can do here at the type, I can change it to an icon. I already chose this rocket I can change the color of the rocket. I can increase the size, the speed. Update. I have to say when you have a preloader and your website loads really fast, then it's a little bit weird. Because then you see it for a really short time. So if you have a slow website, it's uh, in this case better maybe. 
And over here, you can choose a lot of icons. The best thing you can do is use a circle, this one, and then animate it really fast. Then you see how fast it is turning. Oh, you see it turning a little bit. No, you don't. Yes, you see. So it's not a perfect circle. Okay, interesting. Our feedback for Elementor, it's not exactly in the center, the, the X, the XS axis. It was a stupid joke because, um, uh, okay. What else? An image. Look at this. I uploaded this beautiful image over here. I can change the animation speed. I can let the preloader be this this um, be delayed so it will appear after one second. Well, then my new page is loaded, so I don't do that. Say zero. And in pixels, I can increase the size. But then, of course, I need to increase the size also. So that can be one of the possibilities. And you can also decrease it. And then it would look, would look like this. But again, my page is loading too fast, so I don't know with the preloaders if you should do that. And they're spinning, there's bouncing. There's the rubber band. Of course, it will be better if you place your logo over here. And then I would just let it be like this. So my ideal settings would be the page transition, uh, something dark, let it fade in from the right or slide in from the right and slide out to the left. So I go to a different page. Okay, and then ideally I would have no transparency and I want it to slide in from the left or to the left. So this will be my ideal situation. Different page, like that. And then if you don't want to use the preloader, you can say none. And then it goes like that. One thing to keep in mind when you have a website with pages that are not made with Elementor Pro, for instance, my shop page, that's just uh, made with WooCommerce and the shop page. So no Elementor Pro, then it doesn't work. So also the blog page is made with the theme automatically created. Then it doesn't work. So keep in mind that you have all your pages made with Elementor Pro because then It works. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope you liked it and I hope you are creative in creating your own page transitions. And keep in mind, eat breakfast. Bye bye.